So no finish, so a bit of a cushion here for Ricky Evans. That'll do very, very nicely to leave 24 after 12 when you're throwing for a set. Yeah, and the timing's been absolutely perfect. You can see the panics out the body now of Ricky Evans. He'll want to put this double 12 to bed. Simon Adams isn't putting any pressure on this 24. It's looking good now for Ricky Evans. 27. Ricky required 24. For the set. And job done. A 13 data from Evans is secures the opening set. But he knows already how tough it's going to be. The veteran South African Simon Adams is giving it a real go. And Ricky is giving himself a telling off. He can't open the water bottle. Two and a half years ago, maybe. He was on the cusp of something, wasn't he? He was just, he was threatening, and then it all went wrong. 140. For him. Yeah, he was an FDM, a first dart merchant, and the amount of 180s he was hitting. He was all about the rhythm, was Devon, and uh, a real student of the game. In fact, I love, I think I talked to Devon when I'm feeling 45. down, and I, I've tried to send him messages because I've been there when it's difficult. But now we'd be fully supportive of Simon. As Ricky Evans looks at the ball potentially. <laughs> Actually, actually. Definitely. <laughs> 121. Brilliant from Ricky. And that's what he can do. Can he do it more and more consistently? That's a break of throw. Can Evans wrap up set two in double quick time? 99. That'll do. Leaving the 170. This is the time that you'd love to hit a 180. Good switch. Ricky require 170. Two of the more iconic finishes. It's not to be for Ricky Evans. 58. Simon, you require 138. We're going to see Darren Pennell later today. He checked out a 138 yesterday. One hundred. Yeah, Pedal against Joe Ricky Cullen. Well, that would be tough for Cullen, make no mistake. 112 for the set. Yep. I'm tops. Get Brilliant. Well, that's what he can do. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. Ricky. Um, that means five consecutive legs. And Ricky Evans is enjoying himself, we think. But he leads by two sets to nil. One more needed for Rapid against the South African. Simon Adams. Seen him with the Noel at 180s, haven't we, in the past, Ricky? Perhaps this isn't, isn't the occasion for it. 100. We saw Scott Williams attempt a, a Noel at 180 in his win on Saturday night against Haruki Muramatsu, but this is very good. Superb there from Evans. Simon, you require 100. Brilliant 177. This has been an excellent performance. Yeah, decisive. Very clean and confident at the back end of this match for Ricky Evans and for Simon Adams to get through this game. The experience 42. will live forever. Well, that might be the last dart he throws, but what a day it's been for the South African. And what a day it's been for Ricky Evans. In the end, he reels off eight consecutive legs. An impressive performance from rapid Ricky Evans who kept his focus, kept his concentration, and that's an excellent, excellent win. And if he plays like that, or increases by a little bit, Evans will have an opportunity against Nathan Aspinall. But what a, what a day and what an occasion to remember for Simon Adams. Yes, he enjoyed every second, and that moment where he stayed with the crowd during that session there, that will live. But Ricky Evans just soaked it all in, very skillful, very energetic, and very, very impressive. Frustrating for Norman not to leave a finish from that position. And Jim Williams is going to leave himself very handily placed. One and a half, 37. And that's a great first dart. Jim, you require 50. Double 16 again. 34. Well, 
That's the only bit of his game that's not working Nine out at the moment, Jim Williams. And only two out of nine on the doubles. Interesting. <laughs> Shanghai attempt on the 16s. Well, why why go that route? Because he got a, he, he managed to get a, 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 an effort at double. That's it worked out. Well, he only got one dart at double. He could have had two if he'd hit the treble at the 20s with his first dart. But it does not matter because Jim Williams takes the first set, three legs to nil. The finishing a little bit scruffy, but he's got more than enough for set one. Right, but you, you don't always throw them right. He's throwing these right. These double 18. Norman Madhu, just his second dart at double in this match so far. He will get more in this leg. Sixteen. Norman, you require thirty seconds. Well, it's double sixteen now. You know he, he fancies that. But how much? Double twelve. Twelve score. Jimmy I'm genuinely questioning whether we hit the four for the double 16. Well, he's clearly ha has issues with his release, just not getting any kind of consistent release point. And Jim Williams missing the big number, doesn't even get a dart at the bullseye. So Norman Madhu, double 12 required. And boy, does he want it the first dart. Because the adjustments just haven't been there. Well, double six. Double three. 21. Well, he's getting closer and closer, but he probably needs another dart. May need another leg. And Jim Williams shuts the door. Norman Madhu. Well, seven darts missed. And he looks to the heavens. He can't be expecting him to get to a finish, but Madhu, who was celebrating a moment ago, might be celebrating again in a minute. 99. Well, at Jim this Jim point, Jim Williams has no idea what to expect from his opponent. And Jim Williams is kind of playing a random number generator Seven. at the minute. Uh, sorry, 97. Norman, they require 91. And he generate 91. Well, six, 85 left. Trouble 15 or trouble 19. And the 19's route didn't work out. Well, they tried to leave double eight, but left 41. Jamie required 36. And another leg where Williams can punish double 18. Good and that's Sean one dart Sarah only Lee. needed. And now he has the throw. It's not been a comfortable set for Jim, though, has it? It's, it's sort of been. Game on. He's fallen into the right time and place, but. Great looking first dart. Follows it very, very well. And he's back at that double 16. Well, that was one of those instances where not having a finish was actually a bonus because you just concentrate on, on the setup and no distraction whatsoever. He leaves double. Fulton. The weight of dark causing problems for Norman Madhu missing high and low again. Jim Williams missing double 16 again. Game double eight bails him out, and that is a second set Jim to Jim Williams. It is all going the Welshman's way, whether he's playing brilliantly or whether he's playing averagely. Six nil in legs, two nil in sets. He needs one more to set up a meeting with Peter Wright. Well, we talked about him having a lack of focus. It's almost like the embarrassment of the miscount has, has just made him just knuckle down a bit because he's hit 180s two legs running. It's only 180s of the match. Well, generally speaking, darts fans will remember the very good shots over the poor shots. Yes, but darts players will remind each other about the poor yes, shots. Yes, that, that's the, the war of the practice room. And we, we all have a good chuckle at each other's expense. Well, John Park said that Jim Williams will be thinking, let's finish this with a good leg, and he might well finish it with the best leg of the match. He's on 11 data. For a straight set win without Jimmy dropping a leg. 81. They really put some gloss on the victory. Double 12. And Jim Williams gets over the first. 
doesn't have to be too aggressive about this. It's basically just a setup visit. Will he go for the ball? He did. You always advocate that if you're gonna if you're gonna give you the self the chance to go for it then go for it especially if your opponent is not a finish. You are at the aggressive school, John Park. I, I am, but you know what? I think you should be decided before you get in the situation. Double six now. For the set. Tentative. They were tentative down. And if there's been a weakness in Matt Campbell's game of late, it's those sorts of situations where he's having put away chances and spurning them. Oh, working oh so hard to extend this. No score. Match you require 40. Well, an unexpected chance here for Campbell. And he takes it. Lawrence and Morgan played pretty well there until it got right to the end of the legs and mopped up by the Canadian. Disappointment for Filipino number one. Still with a smile on his face, but it's Matt Campbell. Just because, you know, that's that's a big match. To ruffle a few feathers, and this is brilliant from Campbell. Wow, just when he needed it. Perfect timing. Oh, what an answer. 133. The, the two big trebles good enough so that he's threatening if Matt misses this. Well, he just got the single 17. But finishes it in style. And there's Matt Campbell on his way finally to a first ever win at the World Championship on the biggest stage in world dance. He's given himself every chance. The Canadian leading. Would like to get it done here. Without the pressure of a deciding leg in the set. In leg play, eight to three to Campbell. One more required. But the 140 from Alargan turning up the heat of touch. 60. Lawrence requires 65. Over to you. He's got a throw for it. Matt Campbell, can he hold it all together? Well, they were right on the wire, right on the top wire. Too much dark. And this is where he just kind of holds his breath a little bit because you just don't know what might happen on this visit. Just focusing, stood behind the Largan. Three of the biggest darts of his 40. life. And some real emotion oh. could be showing here. Oh, there's some tightness, double ten. Scrambling! Scrambling, got into a bit of a panic there almost. That Lawrence first start was so disarming to him. Absolutely crumbled under pressure. That smile is for public view only. He'll be absolutely fuming inside. It might be again here. Oh, astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Tops, tops from the Lagan. Completely against the playbook. The set and Matt Campbell only has himself to blame. Yeah, and it's Lawrence, though. He lived up to everything I said about him the fight, the dig. He will not give up on anything. He should be done for the day. Ninety-two. He is a street fighter, isn't he? Lawrence and Largan. Of the highest caliber. 60. Lawrence, you require 153. Well, look at this double 18 now. He's hot. Good. He's red hot. 
Different game. Different game. And he's got the crowd on his side now. And he's got an opponent who at the moment is mentally shot. Matt Campbell, five darts to win. Get out of here and be a world championship winner. No stopping him! Wow, talk about igniting into form. Well, John and the way things are at the moment, 140 is more than OK for Campbell, and he's left that same 100 that Alaga nailed in spectacular fashion to win 60, the set. Match you require 100. Well, I'm really surprised he didn't go tops, tops. But he knew what he was doing. Are you after that last fiasco at the end of set three? Uh, I'm not surprised in the least he stayed at the treble. Well, how he got the treble was the big surprise. The first dart was a real blocker, wasn't it? But that's a settler for the Canadian. 36. Can he do the same now with 96? Double, double. No, he went for the treble again. At the, an aggressive route, you could say, but he's left himself a finish. He Big may, moment. He may not go for tops again in this world championship after that. <laughs> End of set three. Biggest start of the match coming up. Well, he's left top. Yes, he has. And it's a much better first start. And a good pace here, a good marker. Couldn't use it. I, the Lord Logan's got to be bouncing up and down now, and he's going to give the shirt hike at the maximum height because this needs maximum focus. Those darting demons whirling around for Matt Campbell. A bust. All the drama of the World Championship laid bare on Sunday afternoon. Three more opportunities have gone. We would not believe it. Uh, this is the full focus. He's loving the moment. Well, Matt Campbell isn't. Oh, another good first start. But from oh. Matt Campbell, can he get the max on the nines? Yes. That is as good as it gets in a pressure situation. After all that's gone before. He deserves all the credit for that 171. Well, and what a beautiful finish it could be for the match for him on a 132. And he wouldn't have to involve top. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He might though, you know, he, sometimes you go for hit the ball, then you go for 42 tops if you're blocked. What's he gonna do? What's he is he gonna stay there? No, he went for the 54. 84. Well, I, I don't get that. It was, it was, it was, it was a gamble. It was sitting up beautifully there, John, for another one, surely. But now, for the set. And we're going the distance. 104 for the Lagan. Campbell was sat on 48 for the match. But did he make another big error in not going for ball, ball to leave double 16? Fabulous from the Canadian. A doff. 
my cap to Matthew Campbell because after everything that he's suffered so far 80, in a match he should have won a long, long time ago. Game from bottling it leg. to ultimate Jack bravery. Campbell. Yeah, 12 darts and fantastic Jack leg. Jack the only regret Game I on. have about it is that wasn't to wrap up the match because even though he has the throw, it's just crossing that line, which seems to be prohibitive for Matt Campbell. 100. The match in set three, missing all those match darts. He looked downcast as Lawrence Alargan came back with another tough plus finish to win the fourth set. But he has been dazzling in this deciding set. 140, Matthew McCly, 128. And this could wrap it up. Oh, he'll stay there. Oh, he didn't. So. Double 16 oh! to win the match. And finally, bury the hoodoo. What a set of darts from Matt Campbell. 96 finish, three 180s, a 128 to win it. And after all the desolation and despair that went before, Matt Campbell does the job. You know, he found that really difficult to take, not being picked for the Premier League a year after, probably felt a little bit hard done by there, but one millimetre away from changing his total life. Tiny fractions between success and failure. I mean, basically, the Premier League title, it's only, it's only luck that decides that, isn't it, Glenn? And we'll be lucky to win that. I mean, he could have been sat in the commentary box right now. That is the aspiration for him. From a Premier League champ, Glenn Durrant alongside me. Double top for Cullen. For a 160 finish. And the rock star has arrived. For Black Jonah from first. Picture perfect from Joe Cullen. Yeah, he has the skills, he has the values as well. He's, he's his own man, as I said. He will make his own decisions. And oh, well, Pennell is making his own decisions wow, right now, but 127 for the open set for Cullen. Trouble 19 for another ton plus finish. Didn't like that one. 19. You may see the bullseye coming to effect for Daniel Pennell. He'll start on the treble 20. Could it be the bullseye? Could it? Missed it by a similar distance, so Colin comes back Joey to wrap up the first 37. set. Double 16. Game and the rock star is off and running, set. takes the Get opening down. set. He lost the first leg to Darren Penhall, but then hit back hard. Said that's going to be steady it's going to cause problems if Cullen is off his game and his average has dropped a little bit from that very good first set yeah, Joe was averaging over 100 but is it just about he just wants to enjoy the next few days and like I said this first round second round games they're really nervy I just want to get through put a show on as well as nice that's the cherry on the cake 98. Cullen could be entertaining another double double attempt here, but he doesn't get the trouble he needs to start it off. The natural fact has turned into a bit of a mess. So, Panel to take us to a deciding leg in set two. Just gets himself ready, goes through his same routine. Joey require 94. Busts the score first dart. Doesn't get to use the next two. Double double again. And you can see spitting furies Joe Don't Cullen at not managing to pull out a 94 checkout to take the second set. Yeah, if he goes 2 0 up, you feel like it's game over, but Daryl Pell knows the importance of this double four. Smack bang in the middle. Yes, he shakes his head, but inside he's delighted to go right down to the last leg decide. A big, big moment in this match, but it's Cullen with the darts. And he could not start it any better. Pennell's heart will sink at that visit. And he's gone subterranean after that. Yes, it was in the treble as well, wasn't it? But a great start from Cullen. 
Like in this. Six perfect darts for Joe Cullen. He is on the nine. He's hit nine darters before, but he's never hit one on the telly, let alone at the biggest tournament in the world. Can he complete the job? Not this time. Well, Karma comes back to haunt him. He's had one on the floor, but you'd rather have one on the floor from that position after six perfect darts to start the leg on throw in a deciding leg of the set. And when Darren Penhall had one very early on. Yep, keeping his emotions in check there, Joe. It's great to engage with the crowd after a missed nine darts, but he knows the importance of this. He won't be going double double this time. That I can assure you, it's double eight. Well, it's a great dart for the treble, which he'd partially obscured, but he's going to get multiple darts for this set. How many does he need? 14. Jury require eight. It's double four for Cullen, but a 2 0 lead. It's been a hard fourth set. Daniel Pennell played his part. He had opportunities, but he just couldn't take them. And Joe Cullen looks a very relieved man as he walks on the stage. Cullen leads 2 0. He's had that. Can he find just an hour of magic? Not only has he played in it, he's won on this famous stage. And he was very good in beating the USA number one, Jules Van Dongen. But it hasn't been good enough so far, as Cullen looks to leave himself a match-winning shot. And he has done. Well, if you're going to win it, a 170 is the way to do it. But Pennell, this first down to a finish, can't be done now. To seal it. Not going to happen. But he is going to leave himself well placed. Yeah, that transition down the treble 19 to be an area to be pleased with. The treble 19 should be flying in for penalt. You just sense this is a must hit. He's got a chance, double 12. Darren Penhall with his first ton plus finish. Now. It was the ton plus finishes at the back end of his game against Jules Van Dong and that started turning things in his favour. How many more of those has he got? You may well need some against Colin. Well, you mentioned Lawrence Largan's come back. Well, panel minimum 140. Is this the beginning of the end? 85. Jury require 88. 88 needed. To the 18 segment. Double seven. 17. Cannot get it. Match start missed. Well, it was a 1 0 1 finish when it was looking like a Cullen victory in the previous leg. All about the first dart. Well, if this is bringing the curtain down on Darren Penhall's darts career, it's the place to do it. A winner on the World Championship stage, but he survived a match dart. And now he survived two more. Ten scores. And Darren Penhall, another Darren ton plus finish, and this game is still alive. Yes, the wry smile from Joe Cullen tells you absolutely everything and what he's thinking. He's just trying to get his thoughts back together and hope and Penhall can't finish this. But it would have been filthy if he had. <laughs> Three treble 20 points. But it doesn't happen. Double two. Joe Cullen, the rock star for a straight sets victory. That will do it. Joe Cullen is through to the post Christmas action. The rock star, good in patches and too good overall for Darren Penhall. The Australian number one goes out on debut in the second round. And while it won't be a performance to scare any of the other big boys, Glenn Durren, Joe Cullen has got the job done with a minimum of.